Hey, this is Joe from YouTube channel Joe DIY, and today I want to talk about the PCS1000 powder coating system for Eastwood. Now, if you're familiar with my videos, in the past I've been using the single voltage Eastwood unit, uh, the real base model, uh, the cheapest one that's available, and while the unit worked great for what I was doing, mostly restorations on pressed steel toys, it had its limitations. Now, Eastwood was kind enough to send me this PCS1000 to upgrade my previous unit, and I have to say, uh, this is a real game changer. Um, I'm able to quickly swap out powders, so when I'm doing multi-coats, like uh, you can see here, I have some Eastwood metallic blue uh, all over the, the booth behind me. Um, I did a primer coat, I did the base color coat, which is a metallic, which is a heavy color, and then I'm also doing a clear coat over that. Now with this PCS1000, I can change the voltage, which is huge. My other system being single voltage, my base coat would go down great, and everything after that was tough to get on. So it worked fine for doing single color coats, or just single coat restorations, but anything over that, and I was struggling. The ability to turn up the voltage on this allows me to do the metallics, which tend to be heavier, allows me to do the clear coats. Uh, I do a nice heavy primer base coat, so I'm really doing three to four coats on most of my restorations now because of this system. The ability to put out the powder is also uh, incredible. Um, the coverage area, just using the, the uh, standard all-purpose nozzle, there are some others with it, but just using that all-purpose nozzle, I can get fantastic coverage on my parts. Um, I don't worry about missing spots. I'm not dealing so much with that Faraday cage effect where you have to put a deflector on to kind of work the powder in. Uh, this thing, you just crank the voltage up, hit the spots you need, and it, it just sticks instantly. The actual coverage of the part, the powder, I find sticks a lot better. Um, I had to blow off a couple parts just when I was first trying this that I messed up on. I was blowing the powder off and I had a lot harder time removing the powder that wasn't even cured from the part um, than I did with the previous ones. It's like that, just turning up that electricity a little bit more just gives you such better cling. Um, and this has been huge for me. Everything inside this unit is internally regulated, which just makes it so much easier to use. I set the pressure on the box. If I need to change it while I'm powder coating, I just reach down, make the adjustment. I'm not messing with my compressor. I'm not messing with my, uh, my external regulator. Um, it just makes it so much easier. The other big thing is the ability to use a hopper. Now, Eastwood supplied me with a five pound hopper, which comes base with this gun. And then they have an additional two pound hopper, which is more of a quick change, small job hopper. Uh, and that's the one I'm using mainly because I'm doing a lot of different powder changes. The five pound hopper is great if you're doing a lot of the same color, which I'll probably end up using the five pound hopper just for my primer, because I use that a lot. But for all the different color changes, I'm using my two pound hopper. Um, it, it takes five minutes to clean. I dump in the powder I need, hook it up, spray it, put the powder back in the container, just give it a quick, quick wipe down, blow it out with some air, and I'm on to my next color. As I said, this gun is just, it's so easy to clean. It's a lot more easy to deal with and, and just mainly for the voltage control. You have everything from 2,000 volt up to 100,000 volt and it makes getting the powder onto your part so much easier. Again, this was Joe from Joe DIY and thank you so much for watching.